Hello and welcome to vlog number 116. This week I'm going to talk about the thiamine high dosage therapy HGT protocol for Parkinson's disease. I recently became aware of this protocol through a post on www.healthunlock.com by user Despe. It is a protocol developed by Italian neurologist Dr Antonio Constantini which involves high doses of thiamine, otherwise known as vitamin B1. It is claimed that this protocol can stop or slow down PD progression. Dr Constantini has been treating upwards of 3,500 patients with high dosages of thiamine alongside their traditional PD medications for the last 5 or 6 years. During this time there has been, allegedly, no apparent disease progression, with many patients reporting significant improvement in symptoms. Well, aside from actually finding a cure for Parkinson's, a protocol that can slow or halt disease progression would seem to be the holy grail. In Italy, Dr. Costantini mainly administers high dosages, 100 mg, of thiamine via twice weekly intramuscular injections although some patients take high oral doses, between 1 and 6 grams per day, in tablet, capsule or powder form. I expect that most patients wanting to try this protocol off their own bat will elect to take it orally, since the injections will require a prescription, and thiamine powder, capsules and tablets are widely available at reasonable cost. Establishing a starting oral dose is basically suck it and see, and Dr. Constantini recommends starting low with a dosage perhaps of 500mg twice daily, and then gradually increasing the dose until the desired effect is achieved. The correct dose is defined as one that suppresses the majority of non-motor symptoms, and 50% or more of motor symptoms, without causing any symptoms of overdose, such as an increase in disease symptoms or a jittery feeling. High oral doses of thiamine can cause sleep disturbances if taken late in the day, and a few patients have reported a skin rash, which disappeared when dosage was reduced. Dr. Constantini asserts that almost always high doses of thiamine suppresses, or almost suppresses, depression, fatigue and cognitive impairment, and often improves bowel function, sexual dysfunction and sense of smell, although most symptoms are tougher to eliminate. There are upwards of 300 Parkinson's patients who are following this protocol with just email support from Dr. Constantini. And there is an active group on Facebook called Parkinson's Thiamine HCL, which is well worth joining if you're considering trying it yourself. I know that up until recently Dr. Constantini has supported patients via email at no cost, but he has recently suffered a stroke which, temporarily one hopes, has removed him from the equation. Perhaps some of his colleagues will fill this void in time, but until then there are plenty of people trying out this protocol who are happy to answer any questions, either on the Facebook group that I mentioned, or on www.healthunlock.com, where there are pages of FAQs and enough reading material to keep you busy for several hours. I have put a link to the main HGT page on Health Unlocked in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.